Hello there, everyone. The Andrade here, and welcome back to episode 51 of our All the Mod 6 to the Sky Let's Play series, where today we have a bit of a problem, okay? So we go into here, we see that we have, you know, almost 20,000 string, 25,000 redstone, 14,000 bones. But if you look at wheat, we have 38. If you look at seeds, specifically wheat seeds, we have none. We have no wheat seeds. I was going to make these seeds in between episodes and we have no wheat seeds. And the only way to get wheat seeds is, you know, I mean, there's standard processes for getting wheat seeds. I can, you know, mana infuse cocoa into wheat, doable. I could set a botany pot up. We only get a 5% chance at actually generating wheat seeds from the botany pot. So I was like, forget it. I could set up a sieve and we get a 70% chance when we do compressed dirt in a heavy sieve. I could set up an, another auto sieve in our system back there. But I was like, I don't really want to do that one. I could buy them at one emerald a piece, but that's expensive. I mean, yeah, well, sure, we have a thousand plus emeralds, but no. Garden cloche. Garden cloche just requires dirt, wheat seeds, and it gives you two wheat and a wheat seed per operation. Uh, plant drops, obviously, or a phytogenic insulator. So I'm like, okay, let's, uh, we're going to need to get into immersive engineering at some point anyway, so why not? Let's just start now. However... I want to get into immersive engineering in a slightly different way. And I'm getting away from those Fey because they sound very nice, but it's just annoying. Maybe I should just, you know, mute the Fey. Can I do that? Yeah, then we don't have to listen to them anymore. Anyway, um, yeah. So in order to make the garden close, right? Standard recipes for immersive engineering uh, for the most part, except for the resistive heater for mechanism. But that's fairly simple to craft. Um, we need to get treated wood and the vacuum tubes. Vacuum tubes themselves is going to be pretty easy. We just got to get an engineer's workbench set up and do the thing, and we got that. The treated wood, though, as standard with um, immersive engineering, is going to require... Ooh, what is this? Oh, okay. Uh, it's going to require us to get creosote and treat the wood. Uh, so we're going to take our wood planks and then pour oil all over them, and that treats them. In order to do so, we either have two options. First, we can set up um, a Coke oven and go the Coke oven route, which is the immersive engineering's path. Coke oven, though, can take a while to actually run. We do have tick accelerating available to us, so it's not that big of a deal, but it can be pretty slow. We also have the option of using thermal creosote oil. And if we look at the recipe for that, that requires a pyrolyzer. I've actually never used this machine before, and I think I want to go this way. So you take a pyrolyzer, put some coal in there, and it spits out coke and tar with creosote oil as a byproduct. Super simple. Uh, and it can be upgraded so we can speed it up. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that, and then we can work on getting a garden cloche. We'll have to buy one seed from our, you know, traumatized. That's why he's weathered. He, he came pre-weathered, but now he is weathered because he watched the mutilation of thousands of his uh, villager buddies, and he can do nothing about it. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get this pyrolyzer set up. Let's see what this is going to take. Um, Constantin, so we're going to have to make some Constantin, which is in the induction smelter, nickel and copper. Let's, uh, let's teach the system. Don't know if we're going to run into needing constant again, constant, constant again. So it'll be nice to have the system know how to do it. Let's wait until we get the double ingot recipe. Nickel, copper, constant, good. Induction smelter, find. There we go. So you'll make constant now. So we just need, you know, eight constant Missing four copper. Oh. Again, did I have that set on? Do I still have that set on exact? That might be the issue. Put that back in there. Nope, it is not. It just, it's the wrong copper. And it's probably the wrong nickel too. So let's just, uh, copper, nickel. Now, will you do the thing? That was one thing I loved in Enigmatica 6 is that they use the uh, Enigmat... They, there's a mod they created called Enigmaticus that or dictionaries all of the things together. So there is no such thing as a 
tinkers copper. It's all one copper. No, no different types. Um, no, oh, Constantine. Bam. Okay. So now we got the Constantin being cooked. Uh, so we need what else? Nether bricks. And everything else is craftable? No. Machine frame? No. Tin gear. I don't have machine frames on autocraft. I guess I don't really build that much with uh, refined storage. Or not refined storage. Uh, thermal. Thermal. Uh, and the rest of you can be crafted. I should have done that initially so that it was ready to go for us, but whatever. Okay, so there's the pyrolyzer. So then we just need that to make... Um, Creosote oil, and it's going to make coke and tar. So we're going to import this, and we're going to import this as well. So we're going to need a tank. And I should have... Yeah, we have an old simple black hole tank. So we can set that up for the creosote oil, uh, and we can have it... We kind of need to get a quantum entangled porter. I was going to let refined storage handle the importing of it, but uh, we're going to end up needing two of these to start with. Yeah. Okay. So while those are cooking, because they do take a little while, let's get started. Storage and automations. Um, pyrolyzer set up. Where are we going to put you? This, this compact machine, though large, I'm trying to keep everything out of the middle. That way we have room to walk and we can kind of see what everything does. And I forgot that I was labeling things. That fell off the wayside, didn't it? Um, yeah, okay. I guess the pyrolyzer can just be set up like, oh, right here. Why not? Let's disconnect. Where's my morphing tool? That doesn't need to happen. So we're going to do, we need to have an importer and an exporter. So we could have... I was going to say we can have an interface, but I forgot these pipes can't do multiple things. So it's kind of a bummer. Pipes can't import and export out the same side, unlike mechanism. I really should just switch to mechanism. But at this point, you know, we've used these pipes throughout the whole playthrough. Is there really a point? I don't really know. Pyrolyzer. Okay, so you have power. So then we need an importer. We need an exporter. I just need to export coal into this bad boy. Do, 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 do. Give me the coal. Thank you. All right. So you're going to import from the bottom. If we were to move you one forward. Because I still need to set up the quantum tank. Um, man, it just really makes this room not look good. What if we move you over one then? I mean, again, we don't come into this room. That's the whole reason I put these into compact machines is that I don't have to look at them, but I still like to, you know, try to keep them as nice looking as I can. It at least makes sense. That way when I come back in here, I don't have to hunt and search to find things, but whatever. Um, so you're gonna import from the bottom, other way around. You're gonna export your items. Wait, no. Goodness gracious, I'm reading these wrong. Yes, you are going to import to the system from the bottom. We're going to export coal from the right. There we go. Jeez Louise. Go ahead and put that there. That's good. Where's my quantum? Quantum entangle porter. Can go down here. We are going to grab our card. Configuration card can go here. Set that. I love that configuration card. Don't remember who's the one who said it, uh, who mentioned it to me, but thank you. That makes this so much easier. Uh, we are going to input to the left, and we are going to set this to Creosot input set. Okay. All right. That is everything we need. Now we just need some coal. We're going to say, hey, buddy, exporter, export me some coal. Pyrolyzer, you are going to input from the left and then you are going to output to the bottom. You don't have a split output. Are you kidding me? This should work. 
it should work because this importer is not gonna be able to import the liquid. So it should export the liquid out to the right. Auto output. And it's not doing it. Son of a gun. Fluids, input. Unless I set this up wrong, so let's just do this. No. Oh wait, it did it. Oh, okay, so it's only doing it on a uh, on a tick operator or on a operation. So okay, so let's just do 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 do. Let's just see what happens. It should when this finishes go away. Yes. Okay. And if we look at here, creosote is in there. Okay, so that does work. Whew. It you. If I remember in the past, thermal used to have multicolored. So like this would be like blue and this would be like purple. So you could choose where you wanted each one to output. But I could be remembering that wrong. It's highly possible. Um, so let's grab this and increases speed. This is for machines, right? Yes. Bam, bam. Go faster. And that is faster than uh, immersive engineering would be, by the way. So that's my best upgrade that I got for thermal. Though I could craft this one. Go ahead. Uh, so we'll put that in there and then that will make this even a little bit faster. But that gets us our creosote oil into the system. Then we need to start working on setting it up to be available to our refined storage. I'm just waiting for this upgrade. Give me my upgrade. Where'd it go? Not you. You. Give me that. You get that instead. Okay. So that will take care of creating creosote oil for us. Anything else I can close off? Make it look a little nicer? Not really. Ugh. This is not the most efficient setup that I like. Okay. So that was that. And really, honestly, that probably should have went into the thermal expansion area because this whole area is completely open. But whatever. It's an automation technically. So, yeah. All right, so we got creosote oil. Oh, and I was already in my storage and automations. We need to set this up to be here. Bam. And we need our other quantum entangle porter. I don't think we're ever going to need more than a thousand buckets of creosote oil, so that's okay. Get our configuration card. Set that. You are going to be set to the creosote input set, and then you can auto eject to your right. And that should have creosote oil in there. 11 buckets worth. Perfect. External storage. External heater, ring of dexterous motion, dexterity, alkahest. Just seeing what use the letters EXT. Set you to be fluids, and now if we go to here, we should see creosote oil available to us. Yes, 14 buckets. Okay, so now creosote oil is available. We can start working on the garden cloche. So what do we need? First off, we need some treated wood planks. That should be pretty easy. We just need actual buckets of this stuff. So let's teach the system. I shouldn't have to do that, actually. I should just be able to do that. There we go. And bam, not you. Just give me regular planks. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we got treated wood planks. Then we need to make a the vacuum tube, which requires an engineer's workbench, uh, which is gonna require some treated wood slabs. And treated wood fence. Gonna require some treated sticks. Ah, oh, we ran out of treated wood. Let's just make, you know, a bunch of it. Go away. Bam. And bam. Okay, cool. All right, so now we should have plenty of that. Um, what else do we need? We need this. That takes care of that. That we need an engineer's crafting table, which requires some more sticks. Bam. 
uh, a regular crafting table. And bam, okay. That's that, and then we need a engineer's blueprint. So let's go ahead and make that really quick. And if we take this and put it down, we should be able to get this done. Um, so let's just go ahead and boop, pop that there. We can put that there. We are making vacuum tubes. So what do we need for this? Glass, nickel plates, redstone, and copper wire. Let me bookmark all this stuff. Glass, that, that, and that. Copper wire should be pretty easy. Just need to make this. Set that there. Uh, and then we need a copper plate, which requires our engineer's hammer. We do have. Let's just, you know, make 64 of those. Oh, I hope that's the that will work. Okay, it does. Bam. There's copper wire done. Nickel plates is this. Bunch of those ran out of our hammer. That's okay. All right, so then we just need to bring with us glass. We don't need that much glass. Uh, we needed plates. Bam. Where did my copper wire go? And then redstone. Right? That was it, right? Recipe, recipe, yes. Okay. So if we put you, 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 and you, and make a bunch of vacuum tubes, we're good to go. We should need this for a little while. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Okay. So that is the hardest part of making this other than the resistive heater, which we have both items for this on AutoCraft. So there's that. There's that. And we have a garden cloche available to us. So now we need to go over to our traumatized salesperson. Buy one wheat seed. Thank you. Uh, Emerald, please, is what he's saying to me. I guess the least I can do is pay him. Give me that. And we can set up this garden cloche. So let's go set this up. Um, well, you know where it's going. Storage and automation. It's kind of our catch-all for everything. Um... I guess we can put it over, geez Louise. So the way that the garden cloche works is it requires power and it's gonna require item output. Um, yeah, and I think water. Honestly, to be honest, I've actually never truly used this before. So we'll see how this goes. Um, so let's, let's pop out of here and let's experiment with this thing. But it looks to be like it's gonna work much better for us than the other thing. All right, so let's get some dirt. Put our dirt in there. Bam. And our wheat seeds, right? We're going to need a point. And we'll see if a point can actually just directly go onto this. Um, it does have specific sides. Can the top? The top looks like it can be power. Yes. This is a garden cloche. And it's on the output network. So you now have power. Yes, yes, you have power going into you. Uh, I believe we need to have water pumped into this. So let's get a sink, but we can use refined storage later. This is just for experimentation purposes. Put the sink there. Item pipe. Can the sink go into the side? That is the question. Doesn't look like it. There is going to be a specific side for the water, and it looks like that's the side. Uh, and then we can set this to extract. Oh, you're an item pipe. That was unintentional. Uh, I need a fluid pipe. That was my issue. All right, which side is fluids? Same thing? Okay, cool. Extract. You are now getting water. So you should... Oh, and you need a redstone signal. Lever. Oh, I know you're doing the thing. You're growing. 
Yeah, it's growing. Look, it's on. You can tell that it's on. I think we can put a redstone signal here. Make sure it's on. Yes? Redstone signal turns it off. Okay. And we can add fertilizer to it. So if we wanted to add some bone meal, we can absolutely do that. Bam. And now it will uh, growth modifier. But there we go. Wheat seeds. Bam. We already got them going. And we can just let this sit there and run. Um, and can we, you know, do the thing I love doing? Absolutely. But it cannot keep up on power. This can only input at 256. We're capped out by the input capabilities of our garden cloche. So, but yeah, that's it. That's how you set it up. So what do we need? We need a power input. We're going to need an item output and a an water input. Also, maybe an item input. Do you have anything on the bottom? Uh, you do, but what are you? You look like, I mean, that's an output. Maybe you can get the water from the bottom. It'd be nice to be able to pump uh, the fertilizer into this too. That way we can just have it run, you know, even faster. Bam, bam. But yeah, look, we got some wheat seeds now. Now we can get started with uh, mystical agriculture. So let's just go ahead and, um, yeah, really, uh, storage and automation. This is the only place that makes sense for this. I really should have put this into our thermal, and I probably will move this later. Honestly, I'll just grab all of it now. We, I know we just set this up, but we got the creosote oil that we needed, so it doesn't even need to be here. Um, and we can set up our garden cloche here instead because the other thing fits really in the thermal room. Uh, do I have any other thermal machines in here? I don't think so. No. Okay, cool. All right, so garden cloche. Let's set you back up here and automate you. Bam. And then you. And let's see. Okay, so you are facing... We kind of want you to face, I think, this way. Yes, because the power is going to come in from the top. Not the pyrolyzer one. Where is the other? Did I forget the other one? I did. It's probably sitting out there floating in the air. We'll just rename you to Garden Cloche. So you're getting power. You also need the wheat and the dirt. Uh, and you can get the bone meal as well. We can put all this away. Um, and then we don't need a sink. What we need is an exporter and an importer. Let's see if these can be hooked directly up to this as well. So exporter, you are going to be set up right on the bottom. Exporter. And I want you to export water. Give me a bucket of water. Not you, but you. And you are going to be fluids water. So you're going to input. Yes. Okay, cool. So it's getting its water. Um, and then can you also? No, because you're only one type of item that you can be imported. Um, but we could set up the fertilizer here and the importer here. So you can say importer here. And you'll just import whatever the craft is, which is that. And then a exporter here with bone meal. Will that work? It will. Cool. The only thing I don't know about is this importer. Does not seem to be importing from that side. Hmm. Yeah, it does not seem to want to import from this side. Okay. Um, what if we switch these around? What if we put the importer here? No. Okay. What if we put the importer here? I don't know if that'll work. Cable? Cable?
import for me. So that's a no. All right, which which one of you sides is the import? I've tried everything except the bottom. You know what? And it may be the bottom. It's blue, which is the output. Or no, orange is output. What is blue? I always forget. I get the two mixed up all the time. Let's just put an importer here and see what happens. Maybe it can't import at all. Maybe I need to set up a pipe. What if I get a item pipe? Maybe it's not recognizing that the uh, importer can actually access this. Set up an item pipe here and a chest for temporary experimentation purposes. Yes. No. How do you get items out? Okay, you don't hook up there. Yeah, because you're power. Wow, this thing is so fast. That was completely unintentional. And now it doesn't have its water, so I'm going to have to set up the exporter again to get the water in there. Son of a gun. Okay. A water bucket. Fluids, water. You can have the seeds back. You can get the dirt back. Not you. Uh, you, dirt, and bone meal. Okay. Oh, and you turned, didn't you? You lovely machine, you. Break you, break you. I think this is the one that I was doing last time, though, wasn't it? Um, a chest. Did that work? No, you just haven't done anything yet. Extract. Give me my items, sir. I would really like them, please. All right, well, I will figure this out in between episodes and figure out where the output is on this. Is this the output? Maybe this is the output. You know, like, let's check this really quick. That's the output. Okay, goodness gracious. Man, that was... I don't know why I struggled with that so much. All right, so scratch the whole next episode idea. Let's just put the importer right there. Uh, and we can put a exporter here for the bone meal. Give me that. You can export bone meal, which will start putting bone meal into here. Yes. Yes. Oh, no, you're not connected. Um, cable. Now you will. If I take some of you out, you should start filling back up. Yes. Okay, cool. And we have seeds being dumped into the system. Okay. That's how we do it. That is how you set up a garden cloche with immersive engineering totally only took me one try to get that whole thing done i didn't struggle with it at all no me the andrada never have i struggled with anything worked perfectly the first time um <laughs> yeah anyway that is a garden cloche to get a seeds now we can actually set up our our, our our crystal seeds, our mystical agriculture seeds. So I will do that in between episodes. I'm going to set our pyrolyzer back up too because we're going to need the coke and the creosote oil later in the series. So it's not going to hurt us to have that set up. But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. A kind of sort of short dive into immersive engineering in a little bit of different way for getting our creosote oil. But yeah, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.